Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the Arsenal career mode. And boys, in real life, Arsenal won a game against Watford and didn't concede. And Czech saved the penalty. What are the odds? Legitimately, the Arsenal fans celebrated Czech saving the penalty more than them scoring goals. If you go back and watch that game, you will see them cheering a lot louder when Czech saved that penalty. It seems like there was a lot of pressure on him to finally get that first penalty saved for Arsenal. And he did it. So props to Czech right there. He had a couple of bad games in the past. But let's get back into our career mode and boys as you know we are not allowed to lose a single game lose or draw not happening we have to win every single match from this point on we have put the pressure onto manchester united they're only one point ahead of us and hopefully in this episode we will continue our good run to still be fighting for that title and that is the exact thing that we'll be doing today hopefully getting a lot of victories and also getting a lot of easy victories now after the Brighton game we have Europa League football against Fenerbahce where are we playing though are we playing at home yes we are playing at home so maybe we might sim that one I'm not too sure I mean they do have a decent side but at home I'm thinking we can get a decent result like at least a draw at home and then against uh, Burnley right there we are up in the FA Cup quarterfinal that is a game that we want to play because I really want to get at least one trophy this season and the FA Cup is like the only one apart from the Europa League that we have left it would be nice if we could get the FA Cup the Europa League That'd be crazy. I would be very happy with that. So hopefully we can get that done today. Hopefully also starting off with a victory against Brighton. If you guys are enjoying the Arsenal career mode, if you like this one, go ahead and hit that like button. If you clicked on this one, it is episode 21. That means that you are enjoying this career mode. So also just click one more time. Go ahead and then click on that like button. Let's see how many likes we can get on this episode. Let's get it started though with Arsenal Fan TV, as always. Hey, Johnny Sports, you're on fire. And the game is over. Manchester City. Bye nice. That's what I tell bye you. Bye. Jenny is the yeah, best option. Nice. Jenny uh, like in. Great win versus Club Bruges and Man City. Now, we saw who we drew in the Europa League, Fernabache. Let's catch Man United, get the league title. Jenny. As you could see, a lot of support coming in from the fans in the first three snaps. We did well in the last episode. We gotta keep up the momentum though. Mane in the first position for the top scoring list. Aubameyang just returned. If he does play like he played in the last uh, few matches before he got injured and this match that we played in the last episode, he will catch up to Mane as soon as possible and that will help us to regain some ground on Manchester United. Chani, put Guerrero in your training session, please. Right now he's only improving his defending stats. Just a little bit attacking. You are playing him as a CAM, so that will be a very good idea if you put him into your training session and improve his bravery or shooting or something like that. Now this man right here is saying that we should be training Guerrero a little bit more. I don't know if we should. Let's just check out his statistics right here. Where's Guerrero? Left back. I want to see if he has actually improved in any of his attributes, to be honest. Did he improve? Physically, he improved. Plus one on jumping, plus one on stamina. Reactions, only plus one. Ball control, plus three. Crossing, plus two. That's nice. Free kick accuracy improved. Shot power improved. Long shots improved. But... We want to see a little bit more improvement on this guy. He's 24. I don't think he has a lot of time to keep on growing. If he grows, now is the time. So maybe he's right. We might have to put him a little bit more into the training sessions. Hey, Chani. Since you call Lautaro Martinez your uh, Tevez, I think you should give him the number Tevez had in the Premier League, number 32. So like I said, and like this guy has said, this is our Tevez. We got to change his number to Tevez's number, apparently. He had number 15 so far, which didn't mean anything. We will give number 32 to Lautaro Martinez. And now he's officially the next Tevez in the Premier League. And he has been doing well in the last episode. So hopefully we can continue his good run. And also now let's get started with the first match of the day, which is against Brighton away 
with the first team. Here is Brighton's starting lineup. They have Izquierdo down the left hand side, Locadia up top. Those will be the two most uh, effective players for them in the attack and knocker down the right hand side. Now, they do have a good attack, but their defense is not the best. We have been doing well in the past with our defense, and hopefully, we can just keep that out in this match as well. Like every match we play right now, guys, is a must win. If I do want to have a chance to win that title, we gotta be performing right now, and I believe as we are playing Brighton, Manchester United is playing Chelsea and also who was the other team? I have no idea, I just forgot, but they are playing two big games for sure. Mesut Ozil in the third minute already, he scores, man. I genuinely like, at the start of this career mode, I thought, how am I supposed to play with Ozil? Because I never have been someone that could play with Ozil on FIFA. Now in this one actually, in this career mode, he completely changed my mind about him. He has been one of our main men in this team to push us forward, get the assists, play the right passes and also score goals, which is great because Ozil is not really known for scoring goals. But in this career mode, he has done it time and time again. And right here, we do get a perfect start against Brighton in the third minute. Ramsey, Ozil, Lacazette, Lacazette turned around, Milinkovic, Milink! Ciao! Oh, hold on. Take it along, Chad City, enjoy it. He only scored two goals in the Premier League. Both of them, I believe, were incredible long shots. 11 minutes into the game, Milinkovic Savic. What a strike, son. And I gotta say, man, this formation, at the start when we used it, it was terrible. I couldn't play a couple of passes together. I couldn't get the attack to move forward. Now, though, with Aubameyang down the right-hand side, things have completely changed. For whatever reason, the chemistry of the team and the attack just feels so much better. And I love it, man. We are up 2-0 within 10 minutes. That's just so nice to see. No, what a pass. Hold on. <laughs> did you just see what Locadia did? He was through on goal, decides to back heal it. And then they score. That is an incredible goal. That is probably the nicest goal I've conceded this season. I mean, long shots and all of that stuff is great, yes, but that was special. You, you don't see something like that very often. That was just incredible. We conceded an amazing goal. I'm not even mad, but I will be mad if they score another one. Oh, no. Locadia, come on. Locadia, that's a pen? Come on, Beth. Are you kidding me, man? That's not a penalty at all. What a joke. What a joke. That is not a penalty. <sighs> Where is he shooting? Where is he shooting? Bottom right. Yes! Come on! Justice! Corner. Mustafi, as always, the most effective on corner kicks. Defensively and offensively for us. And he has proven it once again. As you guys know, at the start of the career mode, I said Mustafi scores headers for Arsenal. And someone was like, oh no, he doesn't. Huh? Did you see the match yesterday? Huh? Did you see how you conceded a shit goal today, Johnny? <laughs> oh my god, I gave away a 2-0 lead within just 20 minutes. Brighton are back into it, boys. I could have passed it to Urzil there, but decided not to. Ramsey with some space. Can he pull it through to Lacazette? Lacazette and Urzil! What a pass from Urzil! It's the freaking post preventing us from scoring the third. Lacazette, was he offside? He wasn't offside there, apparently. Milinkovic, Lacazette, Alba, come on! Ah, deflection. Well, there goes the first half. What an eventful first half right there. Ah, oh, the way that I conceded that second goal is just such a joke. I cannot draw. Johnny, focus up. As you did in the first 10 minutes, go ahead and get your goals. Lacazette, I see you there. 
Lacazette, good turn against the defender. Can he score from this angle? Lacazette could have scored there. That was actually on target. We need support, boys. He can't do this stuff on his own. Here goes Urzi. I see you there. Alba. Ooh, what a pass into Lacazette. Yes! Yes, man. Let's go. What a strike from him. What is... Was that his left foot? I genuinely think that was his left foot, wasn't it? Let's just check it out one more time. Lacazette, great pass. Aubameyang getting himself the assist. Actually, I was aiming for Ozil. What a finish from Lacazette. And we are back in the lead again. But we have given it away within just 10 or 20 minutes the last time. Let's not do that again. 69th minute, boys. We will be making those changes that normally do help us out to score another goal. It is Guerrero coming in at Cam. Lacazette is coming off. Actually, you know what? Mkhitaryan is coming off. Lacazette goes down to the left. Um, I kind of want to hold on to what I have right now. So Ramsey's coming off. Wilshere comes in. I see you there just waiting for the ball, Guerrero. Lautaro, make your run. Pass it over. Pass. Guerrero, on it. Guerrero, the one with the skills. The one with the moves. Lautaro. Lacazette. Aubameyang. Great passing play here. Aubameyang for yet another goal. And that is for sure three points for Arsenal. Aubameyang now on 16, I believe. The same amount as Mane if he hasn't already uh, scored in this game. So he will be the joint top scorer. Aubameyang cutting in from the right hand side. Getting into the central role right there. And scoring the goal. That was a nice finesse. But I feel like the goalkeeper could have done better. Let's check that out one more time. Ah, not really. That was a great finesse from Alba. It is 4-2. Three points. Here we go. And there is the final whistle. What a performance from the boys. Uh, first half, it was a little bit shaky. I gotta be honest. Our defensive players were not really doing their best. Um, Brighton got through a little bit too easy. But let's let's be real. That one goal that they scored with Locadia back healing it into Knockhart was just ridiculous. I actually enjoyed that one myself. But that shot from Milinkovic Savage, man. Wow. What a way to start off the episode, isn't it? <laughs> I really enjoyed myself there. That was a good game. And now we are up against Fenerbahce, as I said before. I do believe that I will be simming this one. The first team is kind of fit. Um, uh, the thing is, though, this is like two legs against Fenerbahce. Do I sim it with my reserves team? It's not that bad anymore, you know? Nelson is now in the right back position. He's not terrible because the FA Cup, it is the quarterfinals and I want to win this trophy. And having a really weak uh, reserves team coming up against Burnley would not be good. If our reserves team loses now against Fenerbahce, we can still go into the second match with our first team knowing that they can like overturn it again. So I think... I think I'm simming this one with the reserves team, boys. Wow, what a start into the simulation. We concede in the fourth minute. Mehmet Topal scores. I believe he has a five-star weak foot. Um, that is just a random detail that I know about that team. We do get a red card, but we score. Makes sense. Okay. A draw would be great. I would love to get a draw here and then focus on the second game. Uh, I kind of feel like, though, that we'll concede another one here. Hopefully, we won't. We actually survive. Hey, we survived, like, basically the second half with 10 men. Jack Wilshere scoring the goal, captain of the reserves team, obviously. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy with this result. 1-1, one, one, I'll take that. We are going over to Turkey in the second match, the second leg, so to say. Hoping to get a victory over there with the first team. Now, the first team, like I said before, we did rest them a little bit for this game right here against Burnley. We are playing away in the FA Cup quarterfinals. FA Cup, obviously a trophy that I do want to win. This victory will take us into the semifinals if it turns out to be a victory. And here we are in the FA Cup. Burnley known for their strong defense and a couple of goals up top with the likes of Chris Wood, I believe, who scores most of their goals. Um, I believe this weekend he scored two goals, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it might be mistaken right there, but I do believe he was the one scoring two. Now, obviously the first team did really well in the last match. I'm really hoping that we can keep up the good form that we had. Every time we played so far in the like last three, four matches, we have gotten victories. And we got to keep that up to get trophies at the end of the time uh, at the end of the season and this man is the main man their coach is currently doing a great job for Burnley 
Lenin just running through. Ooh, that's a great pass there. Oh, block. Big save. No, I just messed it up. Oh, block saves it again. Thank God we have a high rated goalkeeper in there. He just jumped up straight away after the first save and was ready for the second one. Now, I am giving Burnley a little bit too much space in these upcoming, in these first minutes of the match. As you can tell, the dribbling is on point. Wow, I'm impressed. I'm actually impressed. Inkudu just pushing off my players as well. What is going on? It's a good cross. Savic, no. Savic, no. Oblak again. We are getting pressed up high right now. I can't get out of my defense. Here goes Mikitarian. Mikitarian returns back into Ozil. That is an incredible pass from Mikitarian. Now, can Ozil find the space to pass the ball inside here? He does. Sergei, Aubameyang. Was he offside? He wasn't offside. That is another goal for Aubameyang. It is 1-0 in the 15th minute. That is his 17th goal of the season. I believe Lacazette is slowly catching up though. He has been scoring a lot of goals in the absence of Aubameyang. And in the last match he scored as well. These two are battling it out. And Alba now obviously playing on the right hand side. He's not going get to in, get into that many positions like Lacazette. So he has a dis disadvantage right there. But I do believe he can still do it. It will be an interesting thing to see who at the end of the season will be getting that... Uh, Top scorer trophy. Big steal by Mikitarian. Ozil is just waiting for the pass to arrive at his feet. Mikitarian, great dribbling. Lacazette now getting into a little bit of space. Mikitarian returns over to Alba. These two have scored two goals together in between them. And Alba has scored yet another one. Even though Burnley was pressing us up high there, I couldn't get it out of my defense. We still managed. To come through with two goals in 22 minutes, that is the best defensive maneuver. The best defense is attack, right? And Aubameyang shows it once again. What a finish as well. Maybe it was the right thing to put him onto the right-hand side, man. I love him down that right-hand side. He has the pace, he has the dribbling, and on top of it, obviously, the finishing helps out a lot. And uh, we could be through here into the semi-finals, but... Against the last opponent, we saw that we can give away 2-0 leads quite easily. Come on, Bellerin. Jump up, Bellerin. You gotta do better there. That's just not good enough. Oblak, he's on fire today, making way too many saves. Wow, they hit the crossbar. <laughs> that was a nice attack. I believe that was Enkuru down the right-hand side. He normally plays down the left for them. Lacazette does see Alba making that run down the wings. Alba Mayang cutting inside. I wish he had four-star skills. Plays it over to Ramsey. Ramsey turns, cuts inside. That was a beautiful goal. The passing play, the dribbling, the finish, everything about this goal was beautiful. Even though we have the slider set to the toughest thing you have probably seen on YouTube on any career mode, we are currently dominating our opponents. We have a really good run going. We have found the right formation and we are chasing after titles right now in these last episodes of this season. What? I am just concentrating for a few seconds, not talking. Uzi coming up, scoring finesse shots from outside the box. Man, has anyone ever liked Uzi in FIFA? <laughs> I think I might be the only guy that enjoys him. This is such a surprise to me. I mean, look at that finesse there. Great ball roll, and then just too much space. Goalkeeper had no chance. Nah, we are losing the clean sheet in the 84th minute, man. I've been dominating this game the whole time and then they come ahead just once and score in the second half. I was really, really hoping that I can get that, um, that clean sheet right there. Would have been quite nice, but the defense wasn't strong enough today. Way too open at the back. Everyone was just basically attacking and didn't really care about the clean sheet. There it is. It is another victory for Arsenal. We are going through into the semi-finals. Aubameyang, Ozil and Lacazette. These three are currently 
doing such an incredible job for our team. They are taking responsibility for what is happening on the pitch. They are doing everything to get the right results. And our Mayang, after his comeback into the team, uh, after his injury basically, he has been nothing but perfect for our squad. 4-1 victory against Burnley right there. Very happy going forward into the next matches. We will have a lot of confidence in this squad. Here is a big comment that really caught my eye from Jish the Wish. He says, Johnny, don't leave the comment section out of this series. As much as the Snapchats are funny, I feel like the comments are more relative and insightful. You need to include both. That is totally true, guys. So um, I have been reading through the comments. Yes, I have been reading through all of them. Um, I just never really included them into the episodes because then it would be a little bit too much insight from people So I will try to like do a mix of snaps and comments if that's okay for you guys for the upcoming episodes um, I will just use the best snaps and of course getting some of the comments involved as well So if you guys are one of those guys that are leaving comments don't feel like you're getting left out No worries about that, but it seems like in the FA Cup Arsenal is through, West Brom is through, um, Huddersfield is through, and our rivals, Tottenham, is through into the next round as well. I'm really hoping that we will not come up against Tottenham in the semi-finals. I want to play them in the final. That would be the dream. Next episode, we will be starting off with a match against Fenerbahce. As you guys have seen, the first match was a draw, and hopefully we can do well with the first team right here who are fit enough to play against them. I think three days of rest was enough for them to get ready for this big occasion. We need to get that victory. We want to grab every single trophy if we possibly uh, can get in there into the finals and get that one as well. That would be crazy. Thorgan Hazard has joined for uh, Bayern Munich. I had no idea. The transfer window has been done for quite some time and we are still getting transfer news uh, in the right corner there. But the team has been doing really well. Let's compare the statistics of our strikers right now. I want to see who is currently leading in the goals section. Aubameyang on 23 goals in 27 games. Lacazette in 33 games has scored less than Aubameyang. So... You might think it would be better to play Aubameyang in the striking position instead of Lacazette. But what I like about Lacazette is his distribution. Aubameyang, I don't think, has that in him. For me personally, Lacazette is acting like a false nine for me. He is getting the ball, waiting for the runners to come up, passing it off to them, and then getting into the right positions to score the goals. And Lacazette in a striking position is probably better than Aubameyang, especially since Laka has four-star skills. Aubameyang down the right-hand side, he can always make those dart darting runs and score his goals as he has been doing in the past. But 23 goals and 22 assists in 27 games, that is really impressive. Even Laka at his record 33 games 20 goals and 19 assists that is still very impressive but Aubameyang has just been better and uh, the signing of him in real life has obviously already paid out for him uh, for the team for Arsenal I do believe that next season Arsenal will be doing better they just need to find the right players to join into their team but that will be it for this episode we are still on the winning streak hopefully we can continue that in the BPL we want to see what Manchester United have done. Actually, let me just check that real quick before I end the episode. I guess you guys would like to see who is currently in the first position and how Manchester United have played. Have they finally lost the game? That'd be crazy if they actually did. Yes, in the FA Cup, we are not coming up against Spurs. Perfect. Finale between Arsenal and Spurs is still a possibility. And Manchester United... They lost and drew only two points. The pressure that we have put in there has worked. It has worked. Manchester United, they are failing under the pressure, boys. It is not working out for them. I did not expect to see this. They did play against two big teams, though. I believe they play, get, played against Chelsea and Liverpool, if I'm, rem if I'm uh, uh, remembering that one right. Um, that is huge. Only two points and nine games to go. We can do this. Take care, boys. Have a great day. Peace.